Welcome to Books in Sum, your go-to for bite-sized book summaries. Smart Money Smart Kids by Dave Ramsey and his daughter Rachel Cruz Smart Money Smart Kids was written by Dave Ramsey and his daughter Rachel Cruz to help parents teach their children sound financial principles. The two main approaches to debt freedom discussed in the book are prevention and forgiveness. Money management, college funding, and dealing with children from infancy through adolescence are also addressed. The book provides advice on how to deal with children from infancy to adolescence, as well as the fundamentals of teaching them about work, spending, and saving. This lesson can be taught in a commission structure by offering them the chance to earn a few dollars for completing a few important chores around the age of three. Children as young as three to five years old can be taught to help around the house by completing tasks like putting toys away in baskets, making their beds, and bringing in groceries that don't require as much lifting. When they are finished, pay them immediately and put their money in a large, clear jar. They can introduce the envelope system and increase the difficulty of the chores as they get older. Teaching children to budget their money and set some aside for the future is crucial. Start young children off right with the basics of frugal living by discussing the concept of opportunity cost and teaching them to look for deals and bargain. They should start developing healthy financial habits, such as setting money aside for big purchases, as they get older. If you want these ideas to stick with them as they get older, you'll need to keep going over them and giving concrete examples. Whatever our leanings may be, we must be cognizant of them and faithful to sound practices. Cruz is a spendthrift by nature, but she has learned to control her spending and implement other good money habits, like budgeting, so that she can live comfortably without incurring any debt. According to a CNN report on students at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign, almost all of those with strong financial literacy claim to have learned the practices from their parents. In order to keep track of the money you handle over a set period of time, usually a month, you should create a budget. If you already make a monthly budget for yourself, that's a fantastic start. If you don't already, you should get going. Both Ramsey and Cruz advocate allocating a portion of one's income to savings and charitable giving before spending the remaining funds. The most pivotal information in this book is presented with regards to budgeting lessons for children. Allow children aged 3 to 5 to help you balance the checkbook or play nearby as you do your budgeting. They can start writing their own checks for monthly bills as soon as they are old enough. You can expect more from teenagers in terms of managing their own finances and giving them more in-depth explanations of budgeting. Total up the monthly costs of providing for them and put that amount aside in a checking account. Suggest they save up $500 in case of unexpected events and then let them manage their own monthly bills. Watch how you respond to the blunders they make. The most critical information presented here is that parents are not obligated to pay for their children's college education, but may do so voluntarily if they are in a position to do so. In addition, they need to talk about how much money they can put toward their education right away so they can begin making plans. If they can provide financial or other assistance, they should make it clear what is expected of them, such as keeping good grades, living at home, and weekly home-cooked meals. Finally, they need to know the repercussions of failing to save for their child's college education. U.S. News & World Report found that in-state public university tuition was 74% less expensive than private university tuition in 2022. In the teen's final years of high school, parents should push for or insist that their teen apply for as many scholarships as possible. Your teen can win cash prizes by doing anything from sporting a milk mustache in public to writing an in-depth academic essay. If your high schooler or college student is unable to work during the academic year, they can still earn significant sums of money during holiday and summer breaks. In-state tuition and fees at state universities will average $10,423 for the 2020-2023 academic year. If you want your teen to be able to pay for college without any help from you, it's important to start saving and budgeting early. Encourage them to make intelligent decisions like applying to a wide variety of scholarship programs and attending a public university within their home state. It's not easy to raise financially responsible children. But with the information in this blink, you'll be well on your way. Let your kids make mistakes. It's better they learn from them now with your gentle guidance than later on when they're on their own and you can't rescue them. Be patient and persistent. Walk the walk. Start lessons simply and adapt to your child's age. We hope you found this summary helpful in your listening journey. If you're interested in diving deeper into the topic or getting your hands on the whole book, be sure to check the description below where we've included links to the book and other related products that may be useful to you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay updated on our latest book summaries. And feel free to leave a comment with any suggestions or requests for books you'd like us to cover. Thanks again for tuning in and happy listening.